okay so welcome back uh, in this video we will work on our login screen so first right here inside this lib folder we will create a new directory by the name of screens let's enter and inside this screens folder we will create a new file which will be login underscore screen underscore or just login underscore screen press enter and the next for dart file will be let's just say login underscore form so these are our main file for the authentication of the user so right here on the login screen dot dart file what we will do is to create a stateful widget so we will type stf and right here the function name will be login screen and right here at the top we will import a, a library which is materials.dart and now right here what we will do we will return a gesture detector and inside this gesture detector we will say on tab and we will leave this empty for now and then down below we will say child and inside this child we will create a scaffold widget and inside this scaffold widget we will say background color so right here we will type color start blue accent and after this we will say body and right here we will create a safe area widget and inside here we will create a stack so we will say child then stack then we will say children and inside this children we will add padding so type padding then padding const agent sets dot only and from the left it will be 16.0 then from the right it will be also 16.0 and from the bottom it will be 20.0 then after this we will create a child and inside this child we will create a column widget and in here we will say main access size will be main access size dot max and after this we will create a expanded widget so we will type expanded then right here we will create a column widget and inside this column the main access size will be main access size dot main and the main access alignment will be main access alignment dot center and after this we will create a children and inside this children we will create a flexible widget and in here we will show the logo so for that we will type image dot asset so the image is inside our assets folder and then the image name is firebase firebase underscore logo dot png then we will give it some height as well and the height will be 160 and right here the flex will be 1 after this we will add a 
size box of height 20 and after this we will create a text widget in here we will type a text which will be flutter fire and then we will give it a style so right here we will type style then we will type text style and inside this text style the color will be colors dot yellow accent and the font size will be let's just say 40 and after this we will just simply copy this text widget and paste it down below and we will change the text to crud this font size will be the same but we will change the color to orange accent and now where this expanded widget ends right here we will say future builder and right here we will add brackets and then we will type context then snapshot then we will add curly braces and above this right here we will say future and we will call a function and that function name will be underscore initialize firebase so let's just first quickly create this function it is just a short function so in here right here first we will create a variable by the name of focus node it will be a focus node type and right here we will type the variable name so we will type underscore uid focus node and it will be equals to focus node and at the end we will add a semicolon then right here we will type future then greater and less sign and in here we will type firebase app and right here we will paste the function name and this will be a async and now uh, one thing is remaining if we open up the pubspec.yml file right here in the dependencies we need to add few dependencies and the first one will be cupertino underscore icon and then 1.0.2 then the next one will be firebase underscore core and its version will be 1.3.0 and make sure to add this sign and after this the next two will be these two which is firebase underscore oath its version will be 2.0.0 and then cloud firestore which is 2.3.0 and also we need to add this assets and these fonts right here so if you see the assets is added but we need to add the fonts and as you can see in my case the fonts are already added but you need to add these fonts okay you need to type these names right here as it is shown right here so you need to, uh, need to add that too as well and also these uh, four dependencies okay so now we will click on this pub get okay so uh, it shows this error because we add this uh, dependency at the wrong place you need to just cut this from here I didn't notice this you need to add these uh, dependencies right here okay so the cupertino icons is already added but we need to align these three like this now if we click on this pub cat now as you can see it shows exact code zero which means all of these are now installed so now we can just simply close that file and right here we will type firebase then we will type firebase app and this will be equals to await then firebase dot initialize app 
and that's it right here type app as well it is firebase app so after this right here we will return firebase app so our function is created now if we scroll down so in here we will type if snapshot dot has error so if the snapshot has error then what we will show we will return some text message and that text message will be error initializing firebase then we will add a semicolon and after this if condition right here we will say else if you can move this down below as well so right here we will say else if so if the snapshot connection state is equal equals to connection state dot done which means if the firebase connection is connected then we will simply return a login form and as you know the that login form which uh, which will be needed right here we will create it on this login underscore form dot dot file so for now right here we will first import the material dot dot library and then we will create a stateful widget by the name of login form and that's it now if we go back and right here in the return we will return that login form and then we will say focus node and then the underscore uid focus node and then right here in the return we will show a circular progress indicator right here we will type value color it will be always stop animation then we will type color and then inside the brackets we will type colors dot orange accent and that's it so our login screen is now completed and in the next video we will work on this login form so see you guys in the next video